Right, hi everyone. Welcome to another video. Apologies, my microphone's not working, so the sound might be a bit rubbish on this, but this is the test that some of you voted for, many of you voted for, and clearly is where the most interest is. This is the Pro V1 versus the Pro V1X. I've often wondered what the difference is in terms of spin and carry and all that sort of stuff, and I've seen other people's videos, but I'm keen to try it myself. I love testing balls. Um, so this should be an interesting one. And then I'm going to do another follow-up video to this, testing the Pro V1X versus the Pro V1X left dash. So some really interesting comparisons coming up here. And then hopefully it will enable you to uh, educate yourself and decide which one is right for you if you're going to spend that amount of money on a premium golf ball, which is one of the best out there. So we're going to do a couple of pitching wedges, seven lines and driver with each of these. And then we'll have a look at the data at the end and see what's what. So stay to the end. And we'll find out just how bad the sound is and what the difference is between these golf balls. Green one is the Pro V1 and the white one is the Pro V1X. So let's start off with the, with the Pro V1. Really interesting to see how this goes. Let's have a look. One. Okay, so we're going to go Pro V1 7 iron now, see what this one does. Massive pull. Not hitting it good today. Okay, driver time. See how the Pro V1 does off with a driver. Oh. I've been hitting driver very inconsistently, so this could take a while to warm up. Let's try that again. Okay, that's a good one. Bit left. Well, like I say, I've been struggling with driver, so. One more, one more with driver, with an actually middle one. Just get some good distance considering I'm not hitting very well. Don't run away from me, ball. Okay. 
Right, so that was uh, the Pro V1. So we'll go back to the Pro V1X now with a pitch and words to see what it's looking like. Now to me, I would say that that Pro V1X was definitely spinning more and launching higher. It certainly seems to not go as far. So uh, let's see what the 7 iron does now. Starting to tell a story now. That was a good hit. That was absolutely right. So that's the Pro one X with a 7 iron. Not bad, but I feel like it definitely spins a lot more. So, the last one then, let's see how the driver performs with the Pro V1 X. Not bad on the finish with. Right, let's do some comparisons then. Eh? There was a few good drives in there, let's have a look. Okay, so let's start by looking at the pitching wedge. So what can we see? Uh, ball speed, a bit down on the Pro V1X. Just a sniff, a bit more variation though. Uh, launching a lot higher um, and spinning a lot more. That's significantly more spin there on the Pro V1X. Um, and you can see what that does to the carry and the total distance. So that's really interesting. Uh, I knew that it spun a bit more, the Pro V1X, but I didn't realise it, for me, that it was going to spin as much as that. So into the 7 iron then. Interesting, really interesting on this one. So the ball speed, a bit of variance there with my dodgy strike, but roughly the same variance. And not too far off ball speed being the same. Again though, you can see that it's the back spin. On the Pro V1X, there's more spin on that. There is a lot more variance as well, which is, is not great, that's my fault. Um, in terms of distance though, what that translates to, again, is the Pro V1 going further. The X is a bit spinnier. So you can see if you want more spin and a bit more control for the irons, it's looking the way to go is the Pro V1X. But it's quite 
you know, for, for me, and probably most golfers, um, distance is, is the important thing. It's just knowing the numbers. So for me at the moment, the Pro V1 is winning it, for me at least. Okay, and then on the driver. Is it the same on the driver? So, interestingly, it's flipped around a little bit on this one in terms of the ball speed. For the Pro V1, ball speed variance is still there, so it's probably roughly the same. Sorry I'm hitting driver so bad at the moment, it's not great, is it? Uh, my ball speed's way down. Um, so you can see though, that actually on this, the Pro V1X is carrying further. So it spins roughly the same, running out the same, launching, interesting, it's launching slightly lower than Pro V1X. That's really interesting. So on driver, they're about the same. It's just on your irons, if you're looking for more spin, which is, I guess, why a lot of tour players use the Pro V1X. So that's really interesting. So I suppose the only thing left to do now is to go on to the second video, which is probably what you guys should do, and see how the left dash compares to the Pro V1X. We can see here that the, the Pro V1X is the spinnier version, but on driver it's roughly the same. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of told me all I need to know. I'll be probably going the Pro V1 because I, I don't want to lose as much distance as that on my irons, if I was to play Pro V1s. Like if I, you know, it was just my birthday the other day, someone gave me some left dashes, which is what I'm going to use to test in a minute. So if you like that video, drop me a like. Um, let me know what you think in the comments about if you play Pro V1X or you play the standard Pro V1 and how you find the spin on them, especially around the greens and things like that. Uh, and then, you know, if you really want, you could always subscribe so that you don't miss the next video on the left dash. I don't know, it's up to you. I wouldn't want to take that risk personally. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching.